Next question is from Bong Rips and Booty Licks. <laughs> oh, this is this what is a, what a we, fantastic name. We would be friends. Yeah. When you find the balance that you guys talk about with respect to diet, activity, and lean gains, would increasing cardio be more of a de- detriment than a help? No, nah, it's it's a listen. Here's the deal. Okay, this is all people always get confused. There's nothing <laughs> well, wrong. Well, maybe because of the first you know 500 plus episodes. Yeah, we, well, we had to counter this this abuse of a form of exercise. Look, cardio cardiovascular activity can be very healthy. Anything overdone can be bad for you. That includes resistance training. Okay, so if you do more cardiovascular activity and it's appropriate for you. No, it's not going to be detrimental. It's going to make you. It's going to make you healthier. It's going to make you feel good. It's going to improve your performance. In fact, there's a level of cardiovascular activity that will even help you build more muscle as long as it contributes to better health. Now, if your question is, is adding more cardio going to reduce the amount of strength and muscle I can gain at extreme levels? Well, that depends. Also, um, it, that depends on the person. At some point, it will because doing lots of cardio is teaching your body to improve its endurance, it's catabolic, and its stamina, and making you more efficient where lots of muscle is not necessarily efficient with that type of stuff, so your body pairs muscle down. But there's nothing at all wrong with cardiovascular activity. Now, I like to communicate cardio like this with people. I prefer to not tell people to purposely go out to do cardio, unless that's what they enjoy doing, in which case it's totally fine. But I'm, I'm talking to the average person, and they're like, hey, you know, what should I do to optimize my health? The cardiovascular component of the w- workout is going to be injecting daily walks into their day. It's just part of your day. It's a behavior change rather than you know, rather than making the time to go to the gym. Um, it's if you if you attach it to things that you do throughout the day, if it ritualizes it, which makes it more likely to continue. For example, if I connect it to breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I always have breakfast. I always have lunch. I always have dinner. If I connect a twenty minute walk to each of those, I'm much more likely to be consistent than if I have to go away to go to cardio or separate it from everything else. So, but no, there's, it's not detrimental unless it's too much for you. And what determines if it's too much, your goals, your body, what else you're doing, your diet, your other, the rest of your lifestyle. Well, yeah. Or how much you're, cause this question, you, you say balance at first, which that's the key, right? The key is to have balance in it. it is, yeah. yeah. I think it there, it ser it serves its purpose to be in there, but then it says, would increasing cardio be more detriment? So if you're already balanced, right. Then- if you're balanced and you're already intermittently doing it, or it's something you're consistently doing on a weekly basis already, and you're asking to increase it more. Well, yeah. I mean, you it may not serve you when it comes to building muscle. That's, that's good. I didn't even catch that. It's like mm-hmm. so. If, I, if everything I'm doing is perfect, if I do some more of it, then what happens? It's not perfect, right? Yeah. So that's yeah. good. It's good. 